piss poor. But that same investigation did turn up something that the Andriacchios hoped would be a game changer. Both Dylan and Whitley are checked for gunshot residue, GSR. What do they find? Gunshot residue. On both their hands? In both hands. And what does that suggest to you? <laughs> they were in a room when the gun was fired. Nobody wants to think that their child was at a point in their life where they took their own life. I mean, that's just human nature. But we had someone in the community who had killed himself, and that really bothered Christian. And he several times told me, you know, Mom, if anybody ever says I killed myself, you come looking, because I wouldn't do that. For Christian's family, that horrible night in 2014 started a search for answers that continues to this day. We took the time to to have his funeral, and then the very next week, we started going to the police department. From the beginning, the Andriacchios had questions about that 911 call placed by Christian's friend, Dylan Swearingen, around 4.45 p.m. They wonder, is this a genuine call or an elaborate act? Listen closely. Right, who is it, sir? Christian Andriacchios. Okay, just try not to touch anything, okay? That's Whitley wailing in the background. Whitley, Whitley. She, is she up with Come down here. They don't want you to touch anything. Come on. Just try it. If, if come, it's... come here, Whitley. Come here. Uh, it just sounds fake to me. Please get somebody up there. I think he shot himself. He's already put it out there in people's mind that it's a suicide. So, you know, now that's how it's going to be looked at. Did your son Dylan shoot Christian? Absolutely not. Pam Swearingen is Dylan's mother. On a very bad day, my son lost his best friend. Dylan and Whitley declined to grant us an interview, but their mothers agreed to speak for the first time to 48 hours. While they wouldn't discuss specifics of the case, they're adamant their children did not commit any crime. It was just so um, shocking and, you know, what she saw, like, she can never unsee it. I just want them to know that she did not kill him. That night, Christy rushed down to the police station where Whitley had just been questioned. I just hugged her and comforted her. Was she in tears? She was hysterical. Christian's death, suicide or homicide? 100% it's suicide. Investigators found Christian's body in the upstairs bathroom, leaning face down over a blood-filled tub with that gunshot wound to the right side of his head. Four months after Christian's death, Benny DuBose became Meridian's new chief of police and took on the case. A lot of stuff didn't make sense. Starting with Christian's gun. When the gun was sent to the crime lab, they did not find any prints on the gun at all. Christian's prints should have been on the gun. The gun was clean, wiped down. He says the bathroom was surprisingly clean, too. There should have been some blood splatter uh, on this side and uh, on this side, there was no blood splatter. Suggesting what? That, number one, the crime scene had been tampered with. Probably, most likely, the blood splatter had been cleaned. DuBose says officers bungled the investigation. Taking pictures on the crime scene with a dog on cell phone, they all were issued cameras, and the pictures, needless to say, were terrible. District Attorney Cassie Coleman agrees. She inherited the case in 2018. Would you use the word incompetent? Yes, without a doubt, um, it lacked competence. It lacked thoroughness. Dylan and Whitley were not even photographed. There's been a lot of questions about, was there any blood on either one of them? The reality is we don't know. The timeline that Dylan gives of the events don't really add up. Dylan told police Christian had called him around two early that morning 
urgently asking for a ride home from St. Rose, Louisiana. Apparently, Christian had found out Whitley was cheating on him. He was coming home to kick her out of the apartment. You believe he was going back to break up with her? Yes, sir. Dylan says he picked up Christian and they drove back to the apartment. Almost immediately, Christian and Whitley began arguing. When, Dylan says, Christian suddenly took out a gun and put it to his own head. According to the report, Christian threatened to shoot himself, telling Whitley to tell him that she loved him. Dylan uh, ended up saying that he took the weapon away from Christian, unloaded it, and hid it. But Whitley told detectives a different story. When Whitley is asked, has Christian ever appeared suicidal? She says, no, I don't think so. There were inconsistencies throughout her stories. According to police reports, Whitley told responders and friends that she discovered Christian's body. But she told a detective at the station that it was Dylan who found him. She claimed to be asleep on the sofa and a 45 caliber handgun is discharged and she slept through it. Is that believable? No, no, not at all. You know your guns. How loud is a 45? That should have been heard two to three apartments over. And remember, gunshot residue was present on both Dylan's and Whitley's hands. While police have not publicly commented about the GSR on Dylan's hands, Whitley told investigators she has an innocent explanation. Her response was, well, I'm gonna have it on my hands because I was shooting guns the night before. She said she'd been target practicing with friends, a claim one of those friends said was true, but another said was false. But the Andriacchios are questioning everything, including something odd Dylan did earlier that day. What are we seeing in this picture? Um, Dylan Swearingen at the credit union. Who has an account at that bank? Christian. These photos were taken at 12.29 p.m., around four hours before Dylan called 911. Dylan told investigators that Christian had given him his debit card with a startling request. He says that Christian told him to withdraw all of his money, that he was giving him his money. But there was one little problem. Dylan didn't have Christian's PIN number, so he left empty-handed. Is that suspicious to you? Absolutely. He arrives back. He said that they um, watched a couple of movies. Dylan said Christian had calmed down, so he gave him his gun back. He says Whitley settled in for a nap. Dylan says he left for another errand, and when he returned... 911, where's your emergency? Man, we've had a suicide. Knowing what you know about this case, if I asked you, was this suicide or homicide, where are you leaning? Neither. How do you mean? I don't think that Mr. Andriacchio killed himself on purpose. And I don't think uh, anybody else killed Mr. Andriacchio on purpose. DuBose believes Christian may have once again held his gun to his own head, this time upstairs in the bathroom. I believe that Whitley may have reached for the gun and the gun discharged. I don't think there was a motive. I think it was just an accident. The Andriacchios aren't buying any of it. Could it have been an accident? I mean, anything's possible, but... Uh... I don't believe it at all. In this situation, everything points to murder. And then they, whoever, staged it to look like a suicide. 